Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to Viewer Emails. Viewer Emails! And uh, I've got a really interesting mail bag this week. And uh, I'm going to start off with a, uh, an email that came in. This is from John, John Gordon. He goes, hi Archie, big fan, love your passion for watches and your knowledge of luxury watches. I'm a big fan of Patek, but I can't afford a Patek 5127, which I know is one of your favorite watches. If you don't mind, I would love to get your input in a watch I want to purchase. I'm looking at purchasing a Patek Philippe Gubelin Reference 3434 with a 27-AM 400 movement. Price tag 65. I don't know enough about Gubelin, and I was hoping to know if it's worth buying this watch for a future investment. Please let me know. Uh, please let me know if you have time to have a look at this request. Thanks, George Gordon. George, well done. Firstly, Gubelin. Gubelin is a, uh, it's what you call a double sign dial. It's got Patek and it's got the retailer. Gubelin is an upmarket uh, European jewellery store. It's like Tiffany's, except it's for Europeans. And uh, that's all it is. It's signed Gubelin. It's not, it's, it's not a Gubelin. It's a fucking, it's just a retailer's signature on it. Um, is it a good piece, 6.5? Well, it's a bit small. It's a bit small, George. But, you know, it, it protects a Patek. I mean, 6.5, what do you expect? Um, look, I don't think it's terminal. I think it's a nice entry-level Patek. Personally, I'd be putting a little bit more in and I'd be getting a 3.919. That's a bit later. I think they're a bit nicer. I think they're, uh, they sort of capture the essence of a good color Trava. That, that's, that's my opinion. But uh, look, for an entry level Patek, 6.5, it's not, you know, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's going to be such a huge investment. I mean, it's a bit small, it's a bit old, you know, it's, kind, it, it's a good Patek, it's a lovely Patek, but. You know, that, that, that's sort of, it's on the money. I, I, don't think, I don't think you're going to make a lot of money on it. It'll retain its value, but I, I wouldn't say it's a, you know, it's a super, super long-term investment there. Let's just take a break and hear from our sponsors. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best. And Archie Luxury has some very exciting news. I've become a lord. That's right. I've been granted a Scottish title. That's right. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's actually happened. Archie is now a, uh, he's very proud. He's part of the aristocracy, Gaffner. He's part of the aristocracy. And uh, I'm now a, I'm now, I am now, let me just clarify this. I am now Lord Archie Luxury. And that's my certificate to fucking prove it. There you go, it's Lord Archie Luxury. And uh, I gotta say, what a great honor to, to, to be recognized for my, my contribution to the, the YouTube community. It came in the mail. It's now, it's Lord Archie Luxury. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, I'm now a, a landholder in Scotland and uh, I've even got a map which shows me I've got a square foot 
That's correct. One square foot in um, the uh, the Glenmore Estate. It sounds really, really posh. It's the Glenmore Estate, Gaffner. <laughs> yes, the Glenmore Estate. And uh, and I've even got a map. Here you go, fighters. It's now so now it, it's 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 Lord Archie Luxury. So thank you so much to being recognised. It's Lord Archie Luxury. And uh, what more could a fighter want, Gaffner? That's right. So there we go. Now getting back into the the mail bag here. Here we go. Hi, Arch. This is from my good friend, Tim Sharp, from Smokin' Hot Q. That's those big fucker barbecues in Texas. Hey, Arch. Been keeping up with your antics on the channel. You got me interested in the Louis Vuitton briefcase. Probably a president. I want one in burgundy or black. Since I don't know shit about these cases, I was wondering if you could help me get an authentic one at a good price for a fee. I'll be glad to make another donation when the deal is done, as I've made several in the past. Fuck, Arch! Want to be a good bloke and help out a fan in Texas? Thanks for keeping your head up. Your friend, Tim Sharp. Thank you, Tim. Tim, for you, man, there's no fee. I'll do it for free for you. I've actually sent you a few, a few links uh, of a couple briefcases. As I said in my email to you, there's some Japanese sellers have got some Louis Vuitton President briefcases for sale and uh, they're about the the twelve hundred twelve to thirteen hundred dollar mark and uh, what they would need is they would need an interior repair because what happens is is the interior goes a bit sticky behind here so to get LV to do that which is quite okay because the Japs don't like hassle okay so you can easily get Louis Vuitton to do that's about three hundred and fifty dollars and then the interior is like new. So that's well worth doing. And uh, the keys for them, the keys are about $140 each. So the keys are definitely expensive. But um, it's one of these things there that I, I think they're the most beautiful, beautiful briefcases you can get. And I love, this is my tiger green one. I love my tiger green briefcase. So for about 1200 bucks, you can get one X out of Japan, which needs a few little repairs. And uh, you can give them a really nice clean. You can polish up the brasswork. They look superb. There's also some great monogram ones, which uh, I, I bought a great one for about just over the $1,000 mark at Christmas time. Really minty ones. Uh, look, I've got a perfect one at the moment, which is coming back from repair. I'd take five grand for it. So there we go. That's that's uh, the advice. So for you, I've sent you the links, uh, and uh, I'll actually, <coughs> if, if anyone else is interested, just email me, and I'll, I'll also send you the links as well as a fan. So, yep, there's a few around. So uh, I'm more than happy to help you out there, Tim. You're a, you're a great bloke. So there we go. That's no problems at all. Let's uh, let's do the next viewer email. This is from James. He goes, hi Arch, been watching your videos last night again and a couple of episodes were both funny, informative, entertaining. Just one quick question, what do you think of Gerard Perrigay? I've searched your entire video archives and I can't find a video containing anything on this brand. Will it be possible for you to make one discussing GP? Yeah, GP sucks. I hate the brand. Yeah, look, look, Gerard Perrigay, it's one of these brands that, you know, it was very... It was in the. It was sort of in vogue in the 60s, but you know, for Gerard Perrigay money, I much rather. I think Jager La Culture is a much stronger brand. Uh, I think Zenith is a better brand than Gerard Perrigay, but it's very soft. I don't think you're going to do well buying a Gerard Perrigay. There's much better brands, so stay away from it. Okay, that's that's my advice to you. So. Um, Yep, there we go there. Okay, next commercial! We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. 
we completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get a pre-owned watch, it's like if you get in a brand new unit. The only difference is the money. And this is just come in, just come in today. It's uh, from my good friend Johnny Jarzen from Redline Printing. And uh, he goes, hi Archie, just wanted to, just wanted to let you know I should have the interview questions to you soon. That's great, Johnny. Um, I did have a question for you. I'm thinking of selling my Rolex GMT Master II 16710 and my Omega Planet Ocean 8500 with the ceramic bezel, adding a few grand and buying a solid gold Daytona with the leather strap on it, as I think it looks more sophisticated um, than, the, than the ones that are on the solid gold bracelets. I fell in love with them ever since, and I, I tried one on a few weeks ago. Let me know what you think. Hope things are going well. Regards, Johnny. By the way, uh, he's not going to touch any of his savings for his Patek. Good idea, Johnny. Keep saving for that Patek. Johnny, keep the GMT. Please keep the GMT. You can sell the Omega. That's fine. But uh, personally, man, the problem with these gold Daytonas is they're very soft, and especially the ones on the leather bracelet. Man, Texas, sorry, in Las Vegas weather, they're a bitch. I mean, even me, in my, in where I am, you know, the, these leather straps, <clears throat> there's something, you've got to have steel, steel bracelet type watches in, 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 in Vegas. But uh, look, if you really want to do the gold Daytona thing, and I can understand it, Go for a gold Daytona, but keep the GMT. It's a bread and butter great watch. Don't sell that piece. It's a great piece. So, uh, yep, that's my advice to you. Okay, next viewer email. And this here is from my good friend, Eric King. Hi, Archie. I'm the guy who wrote to you in June asking how I should spend 10 grand. I was looking at the Jaeger Cultra Master Control and a Zenith as well as the Datejust 2. You advise that I look at the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak in steel. I followed your advice and acquired the Royal Oak 154001 mil. I sent you a few pics a couple of weeks ago. Um, I know you like the 39 mil better. Yeah, that's right. But the 41 looks better and I'm a big guy and uh, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to do a... Wanted it, you want to do a quick video just to let you know that readers do follow your advice and are better for it. Yeah, look, I reckon that's a great buy. The only thing I like more about the 15300 is the prices are cheaper. You can, I only buy used. I don't buy new. So that's the only thing that I, I would, uh, would say there. But uh, yeah, that's okay. It's all cool. It's all cool. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that there. And... Uh, Yep, that's that's uh, that's how it goes there. Now we're just going to wrap up viewer emails for today, and a very good friend of mine, Craig Craig Teal Jones, has sent me a video of his first watch. Now it's not a, it's not a luxury watch, but it was a James Bond watch, and uh, I'm going to include this in the uh, the final wrap up of this video. So yes. See you later, guys, and uh, keep sending your questions in.
we specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.